Hello, everybody. Corbin here from Zoco Marketing, where we teach you the technical side of digital marketing. So if that's something that uh, appeals to you, don't forget to subscribe. If you're uh, back from other videos, welcome back. Um, today, we are going to be talking about Google Optimize, and specifically, we're going to be talking about Google Optimize redirect test, how to set it up, um, and uh, all the ins and outs of that test. Now, this does this video does assume that you already have the optimized tag set up on your website. If you have not done that yet, um, you can click this video up below or I'll have it linked down below on um, how to get started with Google Optimize, how to set everything up and run your first test. Once you've gone through and watched that video, then come back to this one and we can talk about how to do a redirect test. Um, down in the description, I also have all, all sorts of different resources for Google Optimize for different videos if you are interested in learning that as well. Um, now, without further ado, let's dive into uh, why you are actually here, and that's to learn about uh, how to set up a Google Optimize redirect test. Now, out of, out of all of the tests, in far, as far as setting it up in Google Optimize, it's probably the easiest one, and I'll explain why. So we're inside of here in Google Optimize. We're going to hit Create Experience, and then, of course, we want to... Um, do this redirect test. Now, um, we're going to call this uh, homepage test redirect. And we want this to be on our actual homepage. So we're going to do zocomarketing.com. We're going to hit next. So obviously, first step is hit, hit redirect, name your site, whatever page you want the redirect to happen from. This doesn't need to be your homepage. It can be any page on your website. It could be a blog. It could be a demo page. It could be whatever. Um, this is where you can uh, send that redirect traffic. So we're going to hit Great here. And now the next step is to add the variant. Now, when I say this is super easy to set up and optimize, the reason that is is because you literally don't do any editing inside of optimize. So we're just going to call this homepage two. And uh, this is the URL that we want to build this out to. Now, in order to do a redirect test, you do need to have a, another page built out with a separate URL. So let me show you what I mean. So inside of um, on my site, I have, this is my homepage right now. It's zocomarketing.com. Now inside of WordPress, I went in and created a second homepage and I just gave it the name um, homepage 2.0 right here. As you can see, homepage 2.0, I just threw this together with my face and stuff. It's very big. I'm not actually going to run the, well, maybe I'll run this site and see if, how it does, but it's pretty ugly. Honestly, if you look through it, it's a, it's a pretty bad site, but I'm um, just throwing this together for, for this demo test. Um, so as you can see, I, it's a whole different URL and that's how the redirect works. So when, it, when somebody comes to um, Zoco marketing and hits this page, it will automatically redirect a certain percent of traffic that I specify to the second page. So I can see which one has the higher conversion rate, which one gets more booked appointments or email subscriptions or, or different things like that. So that's the point of the redirect test. And um, the prerequisite is you do need to create a second URL before you test this with different factors inside of her. So we're going to go back over to optimize. I'm going to paste in this new URL and we are going to hit done. And that's it for setting up the actual, um, the redirect. Now we need to go through all the optimized settings, but for this, if you wanted to change the weight for whatever reason, you could come down here and hit a custom percentage. Say this is a page that um, you just want to try, but you don't want to risk, you know, 100% of your your uh, original traffic. So say for this test, you know, I, I want to maybe send 80% of my traffic to the original and then redirect 20% so I can get a small percent percentage of traffic to go inside of there. So that's how you do that and hit done there. Um, and page targeting. So we're going to uh, zocomarketing.com and audiences. You could customize the audience inside of here, but I recommend generally just keeping it for all traffic so that you don't muddy up the variables that you're targeting. So next thing is we're going to make sure that we're linked in the right view. So as you can see, it's already pre-populated inside here if you've linked this before, but um, you could drop down and go to different um, analytics views inside of here. But this is the one we want from Zoka Marketing, our filtered view. And we need to set up the objectives. So the objectives, I do recommend pulling them straight from your Google Analytics. And this video won't really go through on how to create these objectives because it's assuming this is more of an analytics tutorial. But you come through here and you choose the objectives that are important to your to your business. So if you had multiple ones, so I have, for instance, this form submit one, which is for uh, booking consultation. And then I also have the email subscription. So both of these are important to my business. So what I'm going to do is this is the primary goal of my website. So I'm going to have that as the primary there. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an additional objective so that I can see um, analytics from when people fill out an email subscription to see maybe if one variant does get a higher um, form submission rate, but then the emails are a much greater or a lot lower. Maybe I need to adjust other things inside of there. So that's how you can add multiple objectives to your test. 
Last thing is to check the installation to make sure that the tag is firing correctly. So we're gonna hit check installation here. And this usually takes a second to load up, make sure that we have no errors firing on the page. And the most common reasons for this, if you set this up through Google Tag Manager is that your variables maybe are off or that the tag is not uh, firing all the way in the head, in the head uh, tag. Um, if there is an error, then it will tell you why there's an error and you can click, click, click like a little, learn more about the diagnosis and learn how to fix that error. But as you can see here, we don't have any error. So we're gonna head back to our experience. And we're waiting. Great time to remind you to subscribe if you're finding value in this video and we'll keep on pushing along and hopefully you get even more value in the last little bit. So um, now that that is done, we can get an email notification when the test starts or when it ends or get uh, notifications about the experience when a variant is winning or losing. You can allocate a percentage of traffic. So this is different from up here because this is like, uh, essentially you could do 50%, say 50% of traffic goes to the test and then this would take 50% of that 50% or 80% of that 50%. But most of the time I just do 100%. This is really big. For, this is good for like sites that have massive amounts of traffic where it's very risky for them to run tests like this. So um, you can keep that at 100% and then you want this firing on the page load. And that is pretty much everything on how to set up the redirect test. So now I'm going to uh, hit start. You can preview the changes inside of here if you wanted to preview it on uh, tablet, desktop, mobile. But because this is a redirect test and I didn't actually edit anything inside of Google Optimize, I feel good because I checked these settings um, while I was creating it inside of WordPress. So we're going to hit start here and start. And now that test is live. So if we go to a new incognito browser, we have a 20% chance that we're going to get the, the new variant when we type in this. So we'll, we'll keep doing this until uh, we get the one that we're looking for. So maybe this 20% chance we'll get the new variant. But as you see here, here's what it will do. So I typed in zocomarketing.com. We got the first one here. So let's try this again. I am actually going to come back here. And just for the case of this, we're going to edit this test just so I can see exactly what it looks like. We're going to um, uh, select this. This is going to give me a warning. Say don't met, don't change the things or whatever. I'm going to change this to 80%, 20% so that you can see what it looks like inside of here. Done. So now this is gonna give you a warning saying you're changing the experiment test. Uh, if you publish like things could, uh, it could impact your results, but that's totally fine. We're gonna hit publish here. Um, great tip on how to edit the test if you need to later on. Now we have an 80% chance of getting this. So if we're gonna type this, we're gonna go to Zoco Marketing here. Now we have an 80% chance of getting the redirect. So hopefully this works this time and there it is so homepage two is now firing inside of there um, and that is how the redirect test works uh, if you are looking to learn more about google optimize i'll have some links uh, around here um, on how to set up a personalization test or other things that might be interesting to you so don't forget to check those out and we will see you in the next video